I think sometimes that we are given these, um, these book tours to, to keep us in our place and to keep us humble. Uh, I was, I was uh, love to tell this story about how writers can always stay, uh, stay humble because um, I had done a book sign in my home, hometown near Dothan, Alabama and was, and was coming, coming home and I saw an estate sale. So, you know, I pulled into the uh, sale and was looking around and there was a dollar table there and I found one of my books <laughs> signed by me to someone in Dothan. So I take the book up to the man that's running the estate sale and I said, is this book a dollar? And he looked at it and he said, yeah, but you can have it for 50 cents. <laughs> so, um, I want to read a quote from the LA Times, written several years ago about Pat. Misfortune has been good to novelist Pat Conroy. It has given him a family of eccentrics, neurotics, misfits, braggarts, and liars. Since I read that, I'm not quite sure which category I fall into. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of, of, all, of all of those. But um, when I was thinking about talking about Pat and trying to make folks see the Pat that uh, I spent my 19, the last 19 years with and, um, and loved dearly and respected so much and enjoyed so much that, um, you know, I was, I was thinking, well, I guess I could go around and do sort of a, a presentation as though I was speaking to some of my English classes about his, you know, works and he as a writer and his themes and all this sort of stuff. But um, I, I was thinking, no, that's not really Pat. What, what I think I'll do instead, and what I've been doing uh, when I make these talks, is um, just to tell some stories. There's some past stories that, that I hope um, will help you uh, see, see the kind of person that he was to, to live with because it was, it was quite a trip. It was quite a trip, but I was also very, very blessed to, to have, have that time with, with him. And then I want, want to make sure that I, I leave plenty of time for questions. I'm looking for my, ah, oh, there's my person over there that's going to wave and tell me when, when it's time to shut my mouth and let some of you ask some questions, because I imagine you, you have uh, plenty of questions about, about him.